All right, hey guys, so this video, I'm just gonna be documenting one of the largest trades that I've ever done on Steam. This is the Nix A uh, level up or card bot that I made a video about in the past, and he offers 22 card sets for one CSGO key. So essentially you're getting 22 sets of cards or 2,200 experience worth of cards for um, about $2.50, which is a CSGO key. Um, so I decided to um, buy as many card sets as I possibly could from him. And he had, let's see over here, he had uh, 906 sets that I could buy from him. So I think I purchased about 900 sets or somewhere close to that, uh, which is over 4,500 cards, maybe closer to 5,000 cards because some sets are larger than others. But um, scrolling down here, you can see how many cards there are here. So about 5,000 cards, which is absolutely ridiculous um you really can't get a feel for it just because i'm scrolling down so fast but if i were to like slow it down a little bit um you can kind of see um just how many cards there are and this would probably take like upwards of 15 minutes to get through uh going at this rate so uh yeah there is a ton of trading cards and um i thought some of you guys might be interested in just like looking at this crazy trade because it's a little bit ridiculous. Um, it's a little bit crazy, uh, but I can kind of explain my reasoning later on. So going all the way to the bottom, you can see all the keys that I'm using. I'm using 41 CSGO keys and I counted them a little bit earlier. Yeah, 41 items, $110, $110 worth. Um, it's it's more it's a little bit lower than that. Uh, I think 41 keys. If I use a calculator, um, how much I paid for them? 41 times 2.5 equals 102 dollars. So 102 dollars and 50 cents worth of CS:GO keys. I'm about to give to this bot for about 5,000 trading cards, uh, which is kind of ridiculous. Um, it might be even more than 5,000. I'm not entirely sure. It really depends on like how many cards are in each set most sets are only have five cards so if there's only five cards per set it would be 4500 cards but i know for sure that some of these sets have more than five cards per set so i'm just going to say 5000 um, i might be a little bit off there but it's a lot it's a ton of cards and um i just really need just going through all of them this fast like i don't think i've ever uh seen this many cards all at once all in one location um but yeah, this uh, this will be good. Let's go ahead and respond to the offer. Okay, so I went through the trade. It actually took quite a while to uh, confirm everything. But as you can see now, I have over 5,000 items in my inventory. I think I started with around maybe 80 or so. So I got 5,100 plus cards, and they're all here. You can see all the crazy amounts of trading card sets. And I could craft all of these sets right now if I wanted to. It would get me um, a lot of experience. I'd probably get to level, uh, I have no idea, over 250 at least. I'm like level 230 currently, somewhere around there. Um, but yeah, there's like 200 pages of trading cards here that I can craft at any moment. So now I wanted to sort of explain why I purchased these cards. I'm preparing for the summer sale, which comes out next month. Uh, let me go ahead and bring out a notepad file too, just to show you guys. All right. So with these trading card bots, one key gets you 22 sets. So one key, uh, one CSGO key is 250 if you purchase it in the in-game store. Um, I would highly suggest purchasing them through the in-game store or um, through other places where you can pay um, like PayPal for keys because on the market currently they're around $2.70 so it's much cheaper just to buy them off the uh, in-game store. Um, so and that gets you 22 sets of cards. So if you do the math on that, uh, let's go ahead and just do like 250 divided by 22 equals 11 three so about 11 cents 11 cents per set which is pretty incredible when you think about it you're getting at least five trading cards for 11 cents cents which is pretty uh, awesome but um what i really want to get to is why i'm saving these for the summer sale so during the summer sale when you craft a set of cards you get a background and a emoticon and you also get 
something extra. Instead of a coupon, you get a holiday sale card. These holiday sale cards you can sell for anywhere between 10 to 14 cents on the first day of the summer sale. And you can actually start crafting and getting these um, event cards a week before the summer sale starts. So um, my plan is to craft as many sets of cards as possible before the sale when the uh, holiday cards are released. And I'm gonna sell all the cards on day one when everyone wants them. So um, just to show you, <laughs> Uh, if I craft one set of cards, I'm going to be getting, let's say, 10 cents. Let's say I sell the card for 12 cents on the market on day one. I'm getting 10 cents back, and then additionally, I'm going to be getting one background, which is um, at least worth 10 gems, and I'll go through gems in a second. And I'll also will be getting um, one emoticon. Actually, I should go back up here. Sorry, I typed the wrong thing. So I'll be getting one holiday card which will get me about 10 cents when I sell on the market. I'm gonna sell it for 12 cents, which will get me 10 cents. Um, and also get one emoticon, which I can convert into 10 gems. So as you can see here, I'm gonna be getting 10 cents plus 20 gems. So what are gems? Um, most people don't know what gems are. I'm just gonna go ahead and explain it really fast. So you can convert backgrounds and emoticons into gems because they're borderline worthless, uh, most of them anyway, because they don't even sell on the market for three cents. Uh, so let me go ahead and look up a background. I have way too many cards in my inventory right now. Uh, background. All right, so here's a background. So if I wanted to, I could turn this into gems. And by turning them into gems, you can um, save them up. And eventually, once you get a thousand gems, you can turn them into a sack of gems. And these sack of gems are sellable on the market. And as you can see, they are currently sold for around 96 cents. Um, there's a 15% fee on the market, of course, so you'd only get about 85 cents per thousand gems. Uh, what are um, gems used for? They're used for creating booster packs. So um, I guess I can sort of show you that too. So if I go to gems and I click on one of them and click create booster pack, I can actually create a booster pack for any game that I currently own, uh, which is pretty crazy. They have different prices. Some of them are worth like 1,000, some of them are cheaper. I think they range between 400 gems to about 1,200 gems, and that's how much it costs to create a booster pack. A lot of people buy these sacks of gems because certain games have pretty rare trading cards that you can sell for a lot of money, like free-to-play games, um, and you can kind of make a small profit if you find the booster packs that are worth a little bit more. Some people just use the gems to uh, get cards to craft more sets, but obviously I'm not going to be doing that, but that the, <coughs> that's the point of, um, of making gems, and that's what gems are used for, and that's why they have a value. So anyways, back to what I was saying earlier, uh, if you look at this really fast. So I'm spending one key, which will get me 22 sets of cards for $2.50. Uh, so if you do the math, 11 cents per set, I'm going to be getting one holiday card whenever the summer sale hits next month. Um, the summer sale comes out June 22nd, and I think a week before that I'll be able to start um, getting the event cards. So I'll be getting 10 cents plus 10 gems and 10 gems uh, for each set that I craft. So um, let's do a little bit more math. Uh, I know this is kind of boring, but um, for some of you it might be really interesting, especially if you're looking to uh, level up for essentially no cost at all. Um, so let's do 22 sets times, we're going to be getting 20 gems per set. So 20, 440 gems. So for one, let me just break this off. So one key equals 250, which equals 22 sets. Uh, 22 sets of cards will get me 440 gems plus 22 holiday cards, which will get me $2.20 back. Because if I'm selling them for around 12 to 14 cents each, I'm going to be getting 10 cents per card, which equals $2.20 in Steam credit. So um, I'm already really close to making all of my money back, but with 440 gems, as you saw before, if I'm getting about 85 cents per thousand gems, 440 gems, um, I'm not really sure how to do the math on that. Um, I'm not like the smartest person in the world, but you can kind of see, I think it would be around, I don't know maybe like 30 or 40 cents, right? About 40 cents worth? I'd say about 35 cents, okay? <laughs> so let's just uh, assume it's 35 cents because I'm not, I'm not awake enough to do the math on that. So as you can see here, I'm gonna be making my money back, uh, 220 plus 35 cents, that's $2.55, right? So I'm putting in 
one key, which is $2.50, and in return, I'm getting $2.55. So, this may not be like extremely correct, <clears throat> but you can kind of see where I'm going at. I'm basically gonna be raising my Steam level at no cost at all, and I'm gonna be making a little bit of profit maybe, maybe. Uh, probably not, it's probably gonna be a little bit less than that, uh, but even if it's less, like think if I only made, say, 225 back, or if I only made $2 back even, that means I'm gonna be able to craft uh, 22 sets of cards for 50 cents. You subtract it from the initial fee of the CSGO key, um, so 22 sets of cards for 50 cents. That's crazy cheap, right? So yeah, leveling up on Steam is not expensive if you do it during the holiday sales. And uh, I know this is, I'm like drawing this out way too much, but I just wanted to explain to you guys um, my thought process behind this. Every time that I level up on Steam, it's always during the summer or the winter holiday event. And I only do it during those events because I know I can sell the holiday cards and make a lot of my money back. And I can also convert all the backgrounds and emoticons into gems. So, um, yeah. That's about it. So, uh, thanks for watching. I hope you guys learned something. Um, moral of the story, start hoarding co cards now, like card sets now. Uh, so you don't have to pay more when the event starts because everyone is buying cards um, during the summer sale and the winter sale. So buy your cards now. Hoard them up, get as many as you can, and when the summer sale hits, you can craft them all, get the cards, sell the cards, sell the uh, gems, and that'll give you some money back to either buy games on the summer sale, or you can uh, use that money to reinvest into more card sets and get an even higher level than you were previously. Um, so, uh, yeah, thanks for watching. Have a nice day.